Hi, my name is Max and I'm with the CWP Association. In today's video, we're going to talk about what galvanized steel is and how to weld it safely and what precautions to take. Today, when we look at welding galvanized plate, you need to know that when it's done, it's put on in a chemical process. The zinc is chemically bonded to mild steel and that's in order to create an anti-corrosive, anti-oxidizing layer. You can often tell by the crystallized look of the material. Now, the proper way to do this is to remove the zinc before welding because zinc melts and boils at a much lower temperature than the mild steel underneath. Also, generally, zinc plating or galvanized steel is very low grade mild steel. Stainless steel would be another option, but it's much more expensive. So when we look at how we're going to weld galvanized steel, we have to make sure that we take all the safety precautions not to breathe in the toxic zinc fumes. When people look at welding galvanized plate, there's some serious safety precautions and risks involved. Now zinc, because of its lower melting and boiling point, will be released into the air during the welding process. The zinc poisoning is very acute. Generally it takes 24 to 48 hours to get out of your system, and people often refer to it as the zinc chills. So we wanna make sure that we always find ways to get rid of zinc before we weld, and if we have to weld with zinc, we take all the safety precautions. When I'm looking to prepare the pieces for welding, you're going to notice that the galvanized is on both sides. Also, because it melts at such a low temperature of 419 degrees, we have to make sure that the heat affected zone is cleaned off too. So not just the weld area, but also make sure that about an inch or about 20 millimeters away, we have all the galvanized zinc plating removed so it doesn't come off during the weld process. Also make sure that you flip it over and prepare the back of the plate as that's going to get heated up and melt as well. So in a lap joint, as we're gonna to do today, you're gonna to prepare both sides of the steel. All right, so I did some welding on some unclean galvanized plate. As you can see with galvanized, the zinc actually creates a problem. Porosity is the number one problem. When you have zinc, it doesn't weld well. So without cleaning it, without anything, I was able to get a weld in there, but it was dirty, it was clean. You can see the white film, and you can also see all the porosity. Now on the thicker tubing that has more galvanized, both inside and out, as it is chemically dipped, we got a lot more of the white residue, which is zinc, and we got a lot more of the porosity in the spatter. At the end of the day, it's never optimal to weld over any type of galvanized material. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of the same welds, but with a clean plate. I'm gonna grind off with a grinder, the galvanized back about 20 millimeters from the weld zone on both the pipe and the plate, and then we're gonna replicate these same welds with the same settings to show the difference in welding it and what to do to do it properly. So as you can see, I prepped the plates. I, was, I ground off where the zinc was. You can always tell by the color of the spark when you get to the mild steel. You'll get to that nice bright orange color spark. Now with tubing, and this is very important, or any type of HSS, I can't really get inside to clean it up. It's always important to remember with galvanized materials, even with the best of prep, there's probably still gonna be some zinc. So don't take it for granted. Even with the prep, the prep is for welding. In terms of safety, full respirators, fresh air, you wanna have some type of makeup unit, whatever you need, but safety first. Always expect there to be some zinc in the air, but you wanna make sure that even with the proper prepping, you take every safety precaution you can.
welds are nice and clean. There's no white residue left behind. All the zinc had been grinded off from both sides in order to make sure we had a nice clean plate. With the tubing, again, all ground off, no white residue, nice clean welds, even on the back. We made sure we ground it all off. But on the inside, you can tell there's still a lot of zinc in there from the galvanized process. So as we saw today, when you work with galvanized products or any type of product coating, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you treat that product with care. You wanna either remove it chemically, manually with a grinder, and always take the necessary safety precautions. Also keep in mind, when this is done welding, this is now not gonna be anti-corrosive as it started. So you will likely have to paint it or do some other process to it to ensure that now this will not oxidize or corrode as was meant from the galvanized process. Thank you very much for watching today's video on galvanized steel. You wanna make sure that you're safe and for the rest of your career, take the precautions you need to take. I had a lot of fun doing this for you guys. Make sure everyone's out there doing the best job you can.